Welcome to sports, everybody. I'm Ricardo Lightborn. Let's get to it. The Hoysie Rutherford Girls Basketball Tournament officially opened this morning. Megan Shepard was on hand for the opening ceremonies. 17 teams convening on Grand Bahama for the 17th annual Hoyts Geneva Rutherford Basketball Classic. For over a decade, founder Moon McPhee has dedicated himself to the development of athletes through this prestigious tournament. That you all have a man who is a giant. You know, they say of, of giants, you have to be careful because sometimes part of their body walks under the earth. And the part of the body you see may just be a little part of the man. And so I'm really here to honor someone myself who for some reason has put his heart, soul, mind, his entire body, his whole life to the task of producing young, great Bahamians. And that is the one Moon McPhee. Come up here. Man. So I, I, I today wish to honor you as probably the greatest coach. I know you got the general who will be with you all the time too, but I wish to honor you today as the greatest basketball coach the Bahamas has ever seen. Tournament patron Geneva Rutherford also acknowledging the success the tournament has had over the years. While she charged the athletes to give it their all out there on the court, she also reminded them that their education is the key to their future success. If your dream is big, if your heart can take it, if you're willing to work 1,000% for what you want, you can achieve it. And that's all I'm asking from everybody. Delivering remarks on behalf of the Minister for Grand Bahama was Deputy Director of Urban Renewal, Michelle Reckley. She implored community members to do their part in mentoring young people and engaging them in positive activities. If all of us can spend a little time taking our young people of the streets, then there's no need to be worried about why the crime is so high, where's the crime coming from, because we would have done our part in helping to keep these persons in a positive and a safe environment. The tournament was officially opened with a missed free throw by Minister Johnson. Megan Shepard, S, Total Sports. Scores for you from day one. C.O. Walker Senior Girls defeating Jack Hay with 31-12. Jordan Prince William over Bishop McAdell in 18-12. Tabernacle down C.O. Walker 15-2. Doris Johnson with the eight more off. Boy, 19-18. They got the win. Aaron Bailey over St. George 26-8. This is Mary Patricia Russell Jr. Girls defeated Freedom Baptist 16-15. Jack Hay with 14 and Freedom Baptist 11. The MES over eight more rock 26 to 19. Now the Hugh Campbell basketball tournament, as you know, rolling right along. Northern Bahamas teams play. Bimini Gateway Academy defeated Queens College 54 to 51. They sit at 2-0 of the tournament. Jack Hayward over Mont Carmel 57-23. Tabernacle moving to 2-0 with a 56-22 win over Gaffey out of Abaco. St. George is over St. John's 59 to 42. Jordan Prince William eliminated eight more Blue Jays. 45-39, they're on their way home. Also from basketball, Buddy Hill scoring 16 points and 6 rebounds last night in his first NBA game as a Sacramento King. The Kings defeated the Denver Nuggets 116-100. Buddy is back on court Saturday. They're going to be hosting Charlotte. And John Quell, J.J. Jones playing the Caribbean Men's Basketball League on court Saturday as well against KRB Hannibank. J.J. leads the league in rebounds at 13.1 a game, 2.8 blocks a game. And if you think about scoring, she's second with 15.5 points a game. Also, Team Bahamas will play Guadeloupe in the quarterfinals tonight at 9 o'clock. CONCACAF Beach Soccer Championship here in New Providence. Let me tell you, the teams finish at 3-0 and as far as the Team Bahamas and Guadeloupe 2-1. and Expect fireworks tonight. And the 7th Grand Bahama Open Golf Tournament is a week off and counting. Let Megan Shepard fill you in. The Bahamas Golf Federation says it's all systems go for the 7th Annual Grand Bahama Open Golf Tournament. <laughs> Chairman for the Northern Region Ambrose Guthrow says that this year, the Federation wanted to find a unique way to recognize some of the persons that have made significant contributions to the sport of golf on Grand Bahama. In doing so, the winner each of, the, in each, of each of the six flights will be awarded a replica of a cup named for them as follows. The Percy Major Cup for the professional segment, the Chris Harris Cup for the zero to six handicap group, the, the um, Vernon Wells Cup for the seven to 12 handicap flight, 
the Carlton Harris Cup for the 13 to 18 handicap flight, the Arthur Taylor Cup for the 19 plus handicap flight, and the Caleb Hepburn Cup for the super senior flight. Gothra also announcing that this event will be the first in a series of golf events for a PGA FedEx style golf competition. While the PGA Tour offers a million dollar purse, Guthrie says this competition offers something even better and it's truly Bahamian. And that's going to be the Sands Beer Cup, which will be presented at the end of the season to the winner of, the, uh, of, the, of, the, of this event. Players may, be quali may qualify by playing in a set number of rounds on the BGF schedule and scoring will be based on the Stableford point system and more details will be made available on this prestigious event going forward. Players from the New Providence and other Bahamian Islands as well as the Caribbean and the United States and Canada will be represented at this event. We are happy to welcome the Pelican Bay Hotel as our host hotel. He adds that persons have already began to register and he's encouraging all interested persons to do so early as spots are limited. The cost for the two-day tournament is $175 and includes a pairings party on Friday evening, March the 3rd, a scoring party Saturday, March the 4th at 2 p.m. and awards presentation on Sunday, March the 5th at 2 p.m. So that includes golf, a gift bag, tournament fee, and two rounds of golf. Megan Shepard, Sedanes, Total Sports. And that's a look at your sports on a Friday. We got to say condolences goes out to the family of Donna Hall and those folks who have been near and dear to us here in the Northern Bahamas. Have a great weekend, everybody.